Hey folks, my name is Jatin and I'm the head of VRC and student care at 2IM. And in this video, we're going to talk about CAT VRC high percentile strategies. So if you're aiming for a high percentile in VRC, now that can be 97, 98, 99, or even 99.99, or even 100, you should definitely consider these high percentile strategies. Let's get into it. The first one is show me the evidence. Now this is extremely important for CAT VRC because 100% of VRC questions in CAT are inferential in nature. CAT is not going to throw a factual question at you, right? Those, those, those passages used to come in school and there used to be a joy ride where, you know, you have a passage, you have a question, you look at a question, go hunting for the sentence or word in the passage and copy paste it and you get away with it. That's why RCs in school used to be a lot of fun, at least for me. But now in CAT, all the questions, 100% of questions are inferential in nature. It doesn't have to have the word inference in the question stem. It's still inferential because you'll have to read the question. Then based on what you've read in the passage, you'll have to draw those insights from the passage and then answer the question. It won't be ever directly stated in the passage and that's why it's inferential. Now in inferential questions, it's very important to ask yourself, do you have the evidence to support the inference that you've drawn? Now you're solving a question, you've picked an option as the correct answer and it's inferential. Ask yourself, do you have the evidence? Do I have the evidence to support this answer? And that evidence should be direct lines, sentences, words, or portions from the RC that can support the insight or inference that you've drawn. So for every question, ask yourself, do I have the evidence? Can I spot the evidence? Can I pinpoint the evidence in the passage in the form of direct sentences, words, or portions? If you can, then go ahead. If you cannot, then most likely your inference is wrong. Follow this consciously, ask yourself that question consciously, and your accuracy will definitely improve. Try that. The second strategy is do not ignore verbal ability. Now, this annoys me to no end because every year, Hundreds of students make this mistake in CAT. They'll focus on RC because they look at the structure and they'll say, oh, 66% or 70% of my paper is RC. So I'm just going to focus on RC and ignore verbal ability completely. Really bad strategy. If you want to get into the high percentiles, it's essential that you also focus on verbal ability. So please don't make the mistake of ignoring verbal ability. VRC is not like quant. In quant, you can focus on arithmetic and algebra and potentially ignore the other topics and then still get a high percentile, but that's quant. VRC structured differently. Do not borrow strategies from quant or DLR and bring them into VRC. VRC is made up of two subsections. There is RC and VA and we have to focus on both. So you prepare for both and that exam you attempt both and that will take you to the high percentiles. All right. Now also verbal ability, remember, can be a very profitable section. There's a misconception that verbal ability is random. It's very difficult to get para jumbles right or odd one out right. That is not true. There are best in class strategies for solving each question type. If you learn those strategies and prepare by solving a ton of these questions, you can definitely get out of eight questions, you can get five right. Okay, and this is not a very sort of high score in verbal ability. With the right strategies and a good amount of practice, you can actually get five out of eight questions correct, which is two para jumbles, two para summaries, and one out of odd one out or para completion, whatever they throw at you. So definitely prepare for this section. It's a very profitable section. You can get marks quickly, but again, remember, you will have to learn the right strategies and you'll have to practice a ton of each question type. So please don't ignore verbal ability, especially if, if you are aiming for the high percentiles. The third one is become an expert in extracting the main idea. Now this is extremely important for RC and para summary as well. Everything is centered around the main idea. I always tell my students, when you're reading the passage, focus on the main idea. Before you go to the questions, extract the main idea and only then go to the questions. So the sequence should be, you get a passage, you read it. While reading it, keep your eye on the main idea. Read everything, but keep your eye on the main idea and then extract it consciously after reading the passage. Now you can make a mental note or you can make a written note of the main idea and only then go to the questions. If you manage to successfully extract the main idea, it will really help you in solving all question types of RC and follow the same strategy in para summary. 
Now, of course, the question is, how do I become an expert in extracting the main idea? Now, there are strategies out there that's beyond the scope of this video. But the critical thing here is practice. You just have to practice doing this. So when you're practicing RCs, you should definitely do this for every RC. Extract the main idea before you go to the questions and do this for leisure reading as well. When you're reading an article or newspaper or magazine, after you've read it, extract the main idea in your head and then move on. The more main ideas you extract in your prep, the better you'll get at it and that will really help you in improving your VRC scores. So try that. The fourth one is reading an RC does not mean you have to solve all the questions. Now, I'm not sure where a lot of students get this impression from, right? Question selection strategy is important in CAT. It's paramount in CAT and that applies to all three sections. You select your DLR sets carefully. You select your quant questions carefully. The same applies in BRC as well. You have to focus on question selection and that's why we tell you to do mocks because in mocks you will firm up your question selection strategy. So here when you've read an RC, let's say you read an RC, you understand the RC, you're really excited about it. That does not mean that all the four questions following the RC will be manageable. The question setter will trick you in the questions. They can't really trick you with the passage because the passage is borrowed from the internet as it is verbatim. But the questions are set by them. So always in an RC, you'll always have very difficult questions. Typically, each RC has one question which is super tricky. So what you have to do is you've read the RC. When you come to questions, firm up your question selection strategy. If you see a question which is super tricky, you're stuck with two options, three options, you're not able to resolve the tie, leave that question. Don't force yourself to solve all questions just because you've read a passage. That is where negative marks come in and they bring down your overall score. So if you're aiming for those high percentiles, this becomes important. All right. Okay, read the questions and options like a child. I said this in an earlier video as well. This is very important. You can, when you're reading the passage, of course, you have to read it effectively. You focus on the main idea. You'll have your speed, comprehension, all of that. But when it comes to the questions, question one, when you're reading the question stem and the options, read it like a child. A child reads each and every word. Do that. Consciously read each and every word, absorb each and every word because that is where question setters trick you. If you miss a not or a cannot or an accept, you'll get the question wrong. So read the questions and options like a child. My last strategy for you is do not fall for VRC hacks. And this is extremely important. There are many sources and people out there who claim to have hacks and shortcuts. Do this and you'll get a 99 percentile in VRC. Do that and you'll score a very high percentile in VRC. Please don't fall for these hacks. Understand this, CAT is one of the most challenging exams in India or potentially the world. If CAT had hacks and shortcuts, it wouldn't have been one of the most challenging exams in the world, right? So there are no hacks. There are strategies, there are smart strategies, but there are no hacks. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about stuff like speed reading. Absolute crap, don't fall for it, doesn't work for CAT, it will bring down your score. And especially now when you're in August, this the gone is the time to try out these hacks and see whether it works for you or not. Just rely on time and tested smart strategies, speed reading does not work. Read the questions before reading the passage, it will save you time. Absolutely crap. CAT RCs are complex. If you read the questions before and then go to the RC, it will make your comprehension even more difficult. Don't fall for that. Skimming, that's another one. Now this is debatable because there are many people out there who claim that skimming works. In my experience, and, and, and this is my experience of teaching VRC for a very long time, and my students experience skimming does not work in CAT. CAT RCs are complex. If you start skipping words, it's gonna become a problem. Now you may be a person with a very high reading skill. Let's say you're already at 99 percentile in VRC. You know, extremely sort of expert reader and you have a very strong reading skill and you've practiced a ton of questions. Maybe then skimming might work for you. But for 99.5 people, or more than that, skimming does not work, so ignore it. But the broader point is, please don't fall for VRC hacks, especially in, in this time when we're closer to the exam. Just stick to time and tested strategies and work hard. That is what will take you to the high percentiles in BRC. All right, all the best folks. Please consider these strategies, follow them. They've worked for many, many of my students and I'm sure they'll work for you as well. All the best. Hush.